Now I'm finished with the A-liner remodels. I'm going to start a series of small jobs and call them upgrades. Now this bed over here is what I'm going to work on today because down there it is short as far as I'm concerned because the table used to go there. That's the old table. So the table used to stick out far enough so that the uh, foam pads could come out to the edge of that bed right there. So these foam pads, I want them to come out that far, but since I no longer have a table and I have slats, I'll show you the slats in a second, I need to, to enforce this spot right here on both sides. So here we go with the very first of a series of upgrades. This is what we got whenever the bed is not made. And uh, this is the arrangement. This table is ultra light. It's just a little plastic thing that we can take outside. And now I'll show you how the bed goes together. Because this area is too short for four pieces of wood, four pieces fit perfectly. So these things are tucked away right here, out of sight. So then the mattresses go across here. And as you can see, they're a bit short. And they're short for a reason because they come up against this uh, side right here of the cabinet. So if you move it out here to match the edge like that, then you've got space back there, which is okay because nobody really sleeps in that angled area there tucked in. You really, you really can't squish in there. A little bit of cushion or pillow, something could fill that spot up. But when you get up in the middle of the night, this is what happens. I don't know if you can see that, but it lifts up because there's just not enough support right there, only halfway. So I want to secure that and put some more uh, reinforcement down there and there. Okay, so if you're going to do something like this, you want to check first to see how the original uh, is supported. And you can see there are screws attached, one, two, three support screws on an inside uh, piece of one by two, one by three, somewhere around there, uh, and then on the outside. So I need to do the same thing and make sure I support exactly the same so that we don't put undue pressure on just this flimsy piece of trim. Wow, not bad. A little bit of wood putty and that'll fill that in. Paint it, it'll look good. Now I need to make one more. <sighs> that is a very dull blade. It almost didn't make it through it. But I got my two pieces out of a 2x6, 2x8, whatever that is. And uh, a lot of this stuff is scrap wood people throw away. This is stuff is worth keeping around, especially when you need something a size you're not going to find anywhere. Okay, I got a little bit of a gap there if I pull this out. So I'm going to use my old toothpick trick. Got one handy right here. Okay, we've got uh, pressure on this one here. It's good and flat here and here. And it's level all the way across. And eyeballing it, this one here is level all the way across as well. It's still draw, uh, wet, so it's movable. Now this area right here, it had a little bit of an issue because this piece is a little thin so I put a little toothpick right there in the crack 
Not sure you can see that, but there is a toothpick in there, and when that hardens, it'll stay, and it'll keep this thing flush on the front here, which is very important. So uh, I will come back with some wood putty and fill that in. I just happen to have a couple of nice long bolts that'll go all the way through and nuts to fit and a drill bit that's slightly larger than the bolts, so I'm just about home free. Okay, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, when I put this bolt on, oh, now you can see it. I have a lot of leakage here that I didn't have before, so that bolt, they're really putting some pressure on there that the clamp could not. Now I need to clean this up. These things really tuck away nicely up here. I like that a lot. <laughs> So it comes all the way out to the edge and uh, fits nice and snug. It's got little air gaps in there, so we won't have any trapped moisture. And there is the finished job. I really, really like it. You can hardly tell that new wood is there and it's strong and supportive. And now we can sit on the edge of that without feeling like it's rocking. So if you're replacing your table that used to be the bed uh, area in the center, then you want to have slats that are good and strong, and you want to bring the sports all the way out to the end. That's what it takes. And there is how we look when the boards are tucked away and uh, table is up. Nice, lightweight table. Original table there. We're ready to eat dinner and then put it back down for the nighttime. Hey, let's go camping. It's been great. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.